So, in this video, we're going to look at how pH and temperature are related. Now, first of all, we've got a few facts about pH written up the top here. Firstly, this is the formula or the equation that we use to calculate pH. pH is equal to the negative logarithm of the concentration of hydronium ions in a solution. Now, over here, we can see that at 25 degrees Celsius, we know that the ionization constant of water is equal to 10 to the negative 14. We know that this ionization constant is equal to the concentration of hydronium multiplied by the concentration of hydroxide. Also, we know that in a neutral solution at 25 degrees Celsius, we have a pH of 7. Now, firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to show how we can work out that the pH of a neutral solution at 25 degrees Celsius is equal to 7. And we're going to do that using this information here and this information here. Now, first of all, what is a neutral solution? Well, a neutral solution is a solution in which the concentration of hydronium is equal to the concentration of hydroxide. And so what that means is that in a neutral solution, if we have a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, and therefore if our ionization constant is equal to 10 to the negative 14, then we know that at 25 degrees Celsius, the, the product of hydronium concentration and hydroxide concentration is equal to 10 to the negative 14. Now, because these two things are equal because the concentration of hydronium is equal to the concentration of hydroxide in a uh, neutral solution. If we have a neutral solution at 25 degrees Celsius, then we can say that the concentration of hydronium squared is equal to 10 to the negative 14. And therefore, from there, we can see that the concentration of hydronium is equal to 10 to the negative 7. And this is also equal to the concentration of hydroxide. And from there, if we sub 10 to the negative 7 into this equation here, we see that pH is equal to 7. So that's how we can show using the ionization constant of water, as well as this formula here, that at 25 degrees Celsius, a neutral solution has a pH of 7. Now, how does temperature affect this pH? So that's one process, but now, how does temperature affect this? Well, to, to understand how temperature affects pH, we need to see, first of all, the, ion the self-ionization of water. We need to look at this reaction. So the self-ionization of water has a chemical equation that looks like this. So we have two molecules of water producing a, a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion. And it so happens that this reaction has a positive change in enthalpy and is therefore endothermic. So this is very important. This reaction here is endothermic and so that means if because it's endothermic as that we increase the temperature the K value or the equilibrium constant increases. Now for this reaction, the equilibrium constant is equal to this expression here. And so if the K value of this, of this reaction here increases, we know that the concentration of water in any sort of solution is very high and pretty much can be treated as a constant because it's so high. And so if, therefore, if our equilibrium constant increases, then that means that the top line of this expression here means that this also increases. So this product on the numerator of our equilibrium constant, this product on, on, on the top of this fraction also increases. And, it has, and we know that this product is equal to the ionization constant of water. So that shows us that when temperature increases, the ionization constant of water also increases. So this number here increases. That means when it's warmer, we have more hydronium ions and more hydroxide ions. So that is what we're dealing with. And so as we heat things up, we have more hydronium ions. And it so happens that 
If this number in here, this concentration of hydronium ions increases, that causes a decrease in pH. That's how this relationship works. So if the ionization constant goes up, then that means the concentration of hydronium goes up. And that means that the pH goes down. So that is how temperature and pH are related. An increase in temperature causes an increase in the ionization constant of water. That means we have an increase in the hydronium concentration in water or in any aqueous solution for that matter. And therefore the pH of any solution will be lower at temperatures at higher temperatures. And so if we have a temperature higher than 25 degrees Celsius, a neutral solution will actually have a pH of less than 7. If we're below 25 degrees Celsius, a neutral solution will have a pH greater than 7. So what we're going to do now is look at an example of that. So what we're going to look at is an example of a temperature, is, it, is an example of a solution, a neutral solution, that has been cooled down. So we've got a neutral solution. And our temperature is less. Our temperature is less than 25 degrees Celsius. We've cooled it below 25 degrees Celsius. And from this relationship here, we can see that if the temperature is below 25 degrees Celsius, then the ionization constant will be will be below 10 to the negative 14. So this tells us that the ionization constant of water is less than 10 to the negative 14. Now it just turns out that we've actually uh, done some calculations and some tests and we've been able to figure out the ionization constant of the exact ionization constant of water of this solution and the ionization constant in this case is equal to 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 14 it's half what it usually is so that seems like a really big change if we've with our ionization constant because we've cooled our temperature down our ionization constant has halved that seems like a really big change Okay, so now what we're going to do is figure out the pH of this solution. So it's a neutral solution, but because it's not at 25 degrees Celsius, the pH won't equal 7. So we're going to work out what the pH is equal to. So firstly, we're going to we're going to use the use the fact that because it's neutral, the concentration of hydronium is equal to the concentration of hydroxide. And what that means is that the self ionization constant of water, so we know that Kw is equal to this expression here. And because these two things are equal, we can rewrite this as simply the concentration of hydronium squared. And we know that this is equal to, as we've got written up here, 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 14. Now, if we, if we take the square root of both of these numbers here, then we know that concentration of hydronium is equal to the square root of this thing here. And so the square root of this thing here is equal to 7.07 .07 times 10 to the negative 8. So we've put that in our calculator and we've gotten this number here. Now we know that the equation for pH is given by this. So pH is the negative log of the concentration of hydronium, which in this case is 7.07 .07 times 10 to the negative 8. If we plug that into our calculator, we get an answer of 7.15. So although we've cooled down our solution such that the ionization constant has halved, it's, it's reduced by a massive amount, it's halved, our pH of our neutral solution has only increased from 7 to 7.15. It hasn't increased by very much. So we've cooled our solution down, which has caused a decrease in the ionization constant of water. And that has meant that our pH of a neutral solution, and therefore the pH of any solution, is higher than what it would be at 25 degrees Celsius.